Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make movies in Godot and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So with that, let's dive in. Godot 4 received this new movie maker mode and you can find it here in the top right. And to use it, you have to go into project and project settings and search for movie and it will be under the editor in the movie writer. Here you want to choose a path where the movie will be stored and that's the movie file. Hit this one and select a path. You can store it inside of your project. So maybe you want a folder for movies and then you can name the file. So we can name it test one. Next FPS, even if your game is running on an old laptop with 10 FPS, it won't matter because it renders the movie at whatever frame rate you set it to. So if you set it at 60, it will still record at 60 because it renders it offline. You can also disable VSync if you want to and you can change the speaker mode to whatever you want. Then you can change the mix rate and this is basically the audio quality. If we hover over mix rate, it will tell us what it does. And then there's the MJPEG quality. Maybe it makes the video a little bit higher quality. So if you want the highest quality, you can just make it the highest. Now with all of that done, we can close this down. Now we will see that there's a movie folder. And now if we enable movie maker mode and play our game, it will record the movie. So if you see my FPS, it's at 6 FPS, but the movie will still record at 60 FPS. So this is really cool. And you can probably see how choppy it is, since it's playing at 5 frames per second. And I did this for a project, and it took like half an hour, because I was running around the whole scene with even higher settings at like 3 frames. It wasn't worth it, but uh, yeah, that's what I did. And there's also a big problem with this that I found because after running through this for half an hour I realized that I want to record another movie for another scene and let's close the scene so and disable the movie. So now if we open up the movie folder, show in file manager, we will get a movie here. Let's open up the movie. So while that loads, I'll explain what the problem was. So I went to my other scene, and let's open it up. And I just ran the movie again. So I did movie again, and I played the scene. And this one probably took about 10 minutes. But after I was done, I thought uh, I got the two movies. But it overrides the other movie if you play it again. So what you need to do to not have it override the other movie is in the project settings and you want to make a new movie file. So that's a new name, name for this. So if you want to record again a new movie that doesn't override the old movie, you have to make a new one. So that could be test two and then close and then run a new movie. And this way it won't override the old movie. So it will work perfectly. Yeah, let's see now if it's loaded and you can see that it's playing at a smooth 60 frames per second. That's pretty much all I wanted to share. Remember to not override the old movie and make a new one. And if you want more information on the movie maker mode, you can check out the conversation about it on GitHub. I'll link it in the description. And I also have a GitHub where I post free resources. So make sure you give it a star and in the resources. And on Godot, you can find folders for all sorts of things. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.